There you see the statistics on Kelton Brown. He definitely has a height advantage and a reach advantage. He is going to have to use every bit of that because uh, thus far, as uh, Harvey just told you, Mike Tyson has not gone the distance in any of his fights. He has is being looked at, and there's been a lot of noise now being made about this young man as a possible Olympic prospect and a possible professional champion in years to come. He is also uh, being helped trained by Custi Amato, the former uh, manager and trainer of uh, former heavyweight champion Floyd Patterson. In the blue corner, you are looking at Kelton Brown, and I understand, Harvey, that uh, some people are talking to Kelton about possibly playing football, too. Uh, 15 years old, 6'6", six 6'10", six, and uh, his athletic, with his athletic abilities, what do you think? I'm sure a lot of Texas recruiters looking at his house. Before they start out, Tyson has a great overhand right. Brown carries his left hand low. We'll see whether the two match up. Let's we'll see. Experience versus inexperience. Now Tyson ready to come charging out. Brown's playing okay, to try now, to stay away from him. The referee is giving a warning to Tyson at the very beginning for something that he did. I think it was quick. There's a right hand. There's a left. All right, he's left hand in. He's, in he's got him in the corner. He's working on him. That head goes up. Out. He's going down. Another right duck to the body by Tyson. Very, very strong boxer, Tyson. Tell you, very, very strong. Brown has taken some vicious punishment and held on. He's he still really in has. there. I don't think he's There's another right by Tyson. Uh, uh, that's right. He's giving up. The towel's coming in. Look at old Tyson jump on the ropes. That is it. They threw the towel in. Threw the towel in. He didn't want to see. He didn't want to see his boxer hurt. I think the towel hit the canvas about 35 seconds into the fight. Look at old Tyson. He's rolling on the ground with joy. Six bouts, six knockouts. Referee stopped the contest. Mike Hart stopped the contest. Both filled with emotion, different ways. Both in a national competition. A very experienced boxer, very strong. Mike Tyson wins his second consecutive. He's, heavyweight crown and he's a happy young man he really is look at him he's just he's just pounding at will brown is just bent over the referee bill wackily walks in and the towel comes in at the same time the referee stopped the contest and the coach stopped the contest at the same time here he is again it's very strong you're seeing experience versus inexperience although they're they're matched in in the same weight class you know, really one is a, a very very strong powerful boxer and the other one is a, a uh, effectively a novice and, and Mike Tyson is going over to his opponent puts her arm around it's hard to believe this young man Mike Tyson such a champion that he is races pigeons as a hobby <laughs> the 1982 heavyweight champion here's the announcement uh, Mike number one the red corner Mike Tyson undefeated in two years he's got a tremendous career ahead of him both young men do in their respective areas. There's no doubt about that. A lot of talk about young Mr. Tyson. There really is. His prospects in the future, and it's a and name that you might mark down because it's a name you're going to be hearing from in the future. Well, that's it. Mike Tyson becomes the 16th man to win a gold medal here at the 1982 Junior Olympic Boxing Championships in Colorado Spring. We'll be back in a moment. 